think people have always been really interested in how birds fly, and particularly birds that fly in a V formation. And it's simply because you look up to the sky and you see these birds in this such an organised state that you instantly go, how are they doing that? Why are they doing that? There's been so many theories put forward so far to try and explain why birds fly in these distinctive V formations. And these theories range from a, a traditional, the more birds the better, if a predator comes along and picks one off, it's not going to be me. There's an idea that the birds at the front might be better navigators. And another one that's really persisted is this idea of as an energetic benefit to flying in a V formation, that for those birds flying at the back, they're not having to work as hard during the flight. The main study so far that shows that birds can get an energetic benefit from flying in a V formation was a classic nature paper from about 10 years ago, and they were looking at pelicans flying across a lake. And what they found was the bird at the front had a much higher heart rate than the rest of the birds in the V, and they were using heart rate as a proxy for energy expenditure. So that was the first real empirical evidence that there might be some truth to this sort of long-standing idea as an energetic benefit to being in a V formation. We were lucky enough to work with a conservation group based in Austria who were trying to reintroduce this critically endangered bird called the Northern Bald Ibis back into its former range in the Alps. And they do that by hatching the eggs onto human foster parents and the foster parents then spend all spring and summer with these birds who become habituated and imprinted on them. And then they have these birds following a microlite containing these foster parents who are constantly calling out to the birds, follow us, follow us. And the birds follow this microlite and they learn what should be their correct migration route to their wintering grounds. So far it's been very difficult to study flight in free-flying birds because if you start to put equipment on them and then they fly off into the distance, the chances are you're not going to see that equipment again. You need to get that equipment back to get the information off it. For many years we've been working towards creating these loggers that are able to measure where an animal is and what it's doing there. So whether it was flapping, how hard was it flapping, how fast was it going, and when you start to put all this together you can really start to investigate the mechanisms and the interactions that are going on between individuals within the flock. So these are the loggers that we've been developing in our lab that went on the birds. You can see here they have quite a large battery which was essential for the quite long sampling periods. And this antenna here receives the GPS information, it doesn't emit it. And that's what made this such a good collaboration because these birds were being flown and then returning home at the end of the day so we could get the logger off and get the data off it too. The birds start off training for their migration around June, July and they have these little local training flights where they're just learning how to fly, how to fly as a group and also to make sure they follow the microlight. And then towards the end of the summer, kind of late August, the actual full migration begins. And this migration takes them from Salzburg in Austria right round to southern Italy. But to avoid the Alps, which might be a little bit problematic for the young birds, we take a slightly convoluted journey through Austria, right round through Slovenia, and then down into Italy. When the birds take off, it takes them around four to five minutes to sort of orientate themselves into this traditional V shape before they kind of start heading off. The first really interesting result that we got off the loggers was that the birds were locating themselves in positions within the V formation that was completely predicted by fixed wing aerodynamics. And what we mean by that is they were positioning themselves in the best possible spots to take advantage of the good air, the upwash coming off the bird in front. So the aerodynamics behind why a V might make sense uh, goes like this. If you have a bird flapping along, it has to throw air down in order for it to stay up. Uh, this means that Instead of the air building up at the bottom uh, on the ground, it squeezes around the edge. At which point you've got a circulation of air that looks like this. So you've got downwash here, but upwash here. Which means a bird flapping along here could fly in effectively upwards moving air. And so it doesn't have to flap so hard to, to, to stay up. And then if you add that, another bird, then you get a, a half a V formation, do it both sides, and you've got a V formation turning up. So even though the birds fitted fixed wing aerodynamics where they positioned themselves, we can't ignore the fact they were flapping. And in fact, this is where the most interesting result was in what they're doing with their flapping and when. They're flapping along, and what we totally weren't expecting 
was that they might be paying attention to the flap facing of, uh, of the bird ahead. So if you're flapping, then this, this upwash, the, 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 this swirl of air behind you, is going up and down and up and down with your wings. But, but the, the really neat thing is uh, we could show that if this one is a whole wavelength ahead, then this one flaps in phase so that that wingtip path matches this wingtip path. And if it's half a wavelength behind, then they flap like that, which means that wingtip path is still matching that wingtip path. The implications of this research could be quite far-reaching. So, for example, airlines have been investing heavily to try and understand how birds can get so close together to take advantage of this upwash. They want their planes doing the same thing. Of course, something the birds have been doing forever and just do intuitively.